Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, State Champ Women. And uh, some interesting results from the weekend, Nicole. Some mm -hmm. very interesting results. Let's get stuck straight into it. McKinnon have copped another flogging. 43 went down to Hume City, 85. We thought it would be tough. Colin Planeta, 24. Jess May, 14 for McKinnon. No Shanae Greaves. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a tan, I believe, mm -hmm. over in Bali, but she'll yes, be back. I heard that too. Um, 42 points. It's another heavy loss. It, it is a heavy loss, but. I think when you asked me to tip my four last week, I still had Hume sitting at the top of the tree and mm, I still think that that's where they belong. Import to come in for Hume City, by the way, still, I think, this really? week. Yeah. For Hume. Oh, sorry, not for Hume, for McKinnon. Oh. Just scared everyone, didn't I? <laughs> so it's, that's uh, a, for McKinnon. It's a rumour that's wow. made true now, because last week you had no idea. No, no, there is so. an import coming in for McKinnon. <laughs> I checked that out. Great. Um, uh, and it'll help, but they've got a bit of work to do at the moment, haven't they? <laughs> Uh, Diamond Valley 77 went down to Ringwood 94. Diamond Valley, we said last week, this is a great test for them, and they were in this for three quarters, 36 to 18 last quarter by Ringwood. Uh, Mel Dixon, 23. Annika Whiting had 21. Michaela Perini, 15 for Diamond Valley. The Eagles, they, they had landed for three quarters, but unfortunately, it was the Hawks that took off in the last quarter. We had the same problem the week before. We were down by 10, same sort of thing. How do you but get over that hump, In Nicole? that fourth well, quarter, though, did you feel like it was really happening and the game was turning? Because in, in our game? Yeah, because I was at the Diamond Valley game and it was it still felt like it was three or four points. You looked up the scoreboard and it was that's, double digits. You know, that's like, oh. the thing with them. They can... Uh, and I said that the imports need to settle in. They're settling in. Yeah. yeah 23 well. and 21, you can't sort of uh, knock that. Diamond Valley They're is... They're just hard to knock off. You can, mm. you can compete. Yeah. And if you compete, you sort of feel happy that you're competing. Mm. And then... It's that next step, like, isn't it? Again, they won't have felt like they played badly. In the end, that's still a margin that's... 17? Yeah. Mm. Uh, DV, 3-1 start to the season. I think they'll be happy with that nonetheless. Whittlesey, 58. Went down to Knox, 79. I think Whittlesey... I think I said Not last score, week... Whittlesey. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I said last week they'll struggle to get 40 against Knox. Well, they got 58, so well done, mm. Pacers. Let me put that out there straight away. Rebecca Ott. Now we saw Rebecca Ott. Play. Well, we saw her in Youthies the mm. last few seasons dominate MVP, VYC, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, she had 27 points, 11 rebounds at state champ women's level. I think that's a really good sign. That's a fantastic sign. I think that's the challenge for Whittlesey across the season. And coming up to that level is you probably don't need to have defensive stoppers to do those jobs mm. as much mm. um, outside of state champ but every team's going to have a Rebecca Ott or a Melissa Dixon, Monica yeah. Whiting. I'm not sh I'm concerned for Whittlesey um, having been in that position myself to how they stop those sorts of players at this point. Are we still hearing import for Whittlesey coming Steve? Are we still hearing that? Uh, has she arrived? Oh, I don't, I'm asking you the question. You're, you're, the, you're the man sure. with the... Not really. <laughs> pulse. Not really. I was going to touch on Knox a little bit, but mm. that's great to find Rebecca Ott knowing she can score the ball because there's going to be times where opposition teams are going to put points on and you can't just sort of grind out every game. So it's great to have a couple of scorers that you can go to and find some quick points. It's a good mm -hmm. point, Steve. It's a good point. Good. Bulleen 77 defeated Melbourne 68. 25 to 13 win. last quarter was a good win. Pierce and Pierce. Now, we did tell you last we week... That if Pierce and Pierce fire, mm -hmm. it's They're a shot. Pierce and Pierce getting the win. Uh, they were down 17 or 18 in the second quarter, Bulleen. Uh, sorry, how much? Seven, I can't remember, 17 or 18, something really? around that mark, and they just chipped away and chipped away. Melbourne and then they by that much. Yep. Yep. And wow. then, um, so yeah, big um, fight back at home for the Boomers. Uh, Senior Pierce had 22, that's Lauren, and Baby Pierce, that's Emma, had 18, so 40 points between Very them. Nice. Kiki Alafatuli mm -hmm. had 13 points for Melbourne. Kiki. What a great name. It is a very yeah, good name. I like that. Warrandyte 53 went down to Southern Peninsula 84. No Nicole Romeo. Mm -hmm. Only eight players are suiting up for Warrandyte. Down a couple. Always tough. Meg Dargan leading the way as usual with 16. Brittany Kartner had 17 for Southern Peninsula and Caitlin Melito had 16. Uh, down by 31, but... Can I just say this, an admirable loss, because I know that you were... If you can have those. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, had, you were missing some plays. Yeah, look, we were, and I think if it would have been, for me, a margin that said 20-something or even close to the 20 mark, 
it probably showed more of our effort. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that we ticked over to that 30 plus. Only yeah. because I don't think it actually reflected our effort for three quarters of the game. But mm -hmm. when, with the three that we had out, two were starters. Um, third one's probably your first rotation. It's pretty mm -hmm. tough. Um, but one thing I'll say about my group at the minute is they're putting in working a good hard. Effort. They're working really. I'm going to come back to Nicole Romeo in just a moment. Melbourne 68 defeated Should Whittlesey. Should we talk about Southern Penn though for a second? Oh, go for it. You were there. Only because yeah, they, look, they're going to be fantastic side no doubt about that I think I said last week I've had them second that now having seen them I think we can safely say that that's the case and I think uh, at the moment right now they're far better than Ringwood they're far better than Diamond Valley far better than mm -hmm. Ringwood I think so Wow. Okay. at the moment yep um, but it'd be great to see their two imports and they'll probably play on those two imports for, for a match similar <laughs> matchups. It's going to be fascinating Southern watching the. Peninsula. Well, you said Diamond Valley. They're far better than Diamond Valley. They play each other this week, so we'll, we'll have a look at that. I think they are. Melbourne 68 defeated Whittlesey 66. So good competitive game. Kiki Alafatuli had 14 again. and 13. Kiki, that's Kiki. Yeah. Had 14 and 13. Trudy Armstead had 15 points for Whittlesey. Uh, Melbourne will be happy to get that because they tight. well they went down the uh, the night before. Yep, and uh, putting that aside, I was watching live stats of that Whittle. See, we're up sort of in the late third. It, it, they literally Melbourne sort of tied it up into the last, mm. and then it was two points, two points, two points each way, and they got over the line just. So Whittlesey nearly got their first win at state champ women's level. I was going to say that was Melbourne's first win, so that was a crucial match. And I think Whittlesey will get a win somewhere. Yeah. Let's keep keeping on. Kiki. 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 Yep. Keep an eye on her. Um, Waverley 75 defeated Eltham 65. Helen Roden 23. Cunningham 17. Uh, that's Tegan Cunningham. Um, uh, Kate Oliver, I think, was 0 of 10 and 2 points from the fair line. It's only 2 points for the game. Yeah, it's Had 28 the week before, 2 points for the game. Mm -hmm. Faith Probst, nice little pickup, Eltham. Yep. Mm. Um, Probst, Probst, however you want to pronounce it. Faith had 20 points, 10 rebounds, 8 steals. Olivia Bonapalli did not play. No. Um, again, watched a bit of live stats there. Faith had a, a great game. Mm. A lot, most of that damage was done in the first half. So they were very, they were well and truly in it, if not even tied early on. And then uh, it seemed to be in the second half that. Helen Roden and Tegan Cunningham fled, um, sort of flexed the muscles a bit. And Not too many times Kate Oliver's going to go a game without a field goal. No, so if, if that's their defensive effort, Eltham on her, that's a, a great job. And maybe some of their bigs that didn't score a lot of points for Eltham maybe did a defensive job instead. Ladder very, very early. Hume City, Southern Penn knocks all two and zip. Ringwood three and zip. Diamond Valley three and one. Waverley one and one. Bulleen 1-1, one one, Melbourne 1-2, one and two, Eltham, Warrandyte, Whittlesey, McKinnon, all still looking for their first win. Round three. You can already see that, that no doubt. slow gap starting no doubt. to come in between no the guys that have won two and three games and then it drops off. Very well picked up there, Steve. Uh, round three, two games on Friday night. Diamond Valley, Southern Peninsula. I like Friday nights during the school holidays. It's good. Certainly very nice. Um... Can't go past Southern Penn, what they're doing lately. I'm going to go Southern Penn. Uh, Nicole, I dare say you're going Southern Penn. I am given at this that point. you think yep. DV's I'm not, not no, near I th them. I think DV will be a big improvers across the season. And they're, hello, they're sitting three and one. So that's, but I don't think they've, that their first test was Ringwood. Mm -hmm. This is another test of those. So at the moment, I don't think they're going to get your Ringwoods, your Southern Pens, or your Hume Cities. At the, the good moment. news is you've given DV a fair bit of motivation today, which oh, I think is a great thing. You're welcome. And for all the crowd out there, get out there and support on Friday night. We want to see a big crowd. We want to see a big crowd at Eltham as well Friday night. They take on Ringwood. I think the Hawks, So Steve. Bont and Pally, do we know why she didn't play? No, no idea. Right. No idea. Because um, that is a loss. It, yeah. Absolutely. Obviously, it's great that they've, they've got faith. Hopefully, she there. comes back in bottom pally to make a real uh, game of this, but I think Ringwood will win. I think Ringwood will win too. Yeah, I think Ringwood as well. Saturday games, McKinnon take on Warrandyte. Now, sources, and it's got nothing to do with Nicole, I believe very, very strongly that Nicole Romeo will make her debut this week, Steve. I think she'll be here, ready to roll it. So, in fact, you know what? Yeah. Let's not even speculate, Nicole. I haven't seen her yet. Yeah, that's it. so. It's, that's, it's not that's Saturday. True. It's not Saturday either. No, that's true. Um, yeah, we expect her to play. There She's uh, arrived in the country last night. So welcome, Nicole. I know it's early days and it's very early, Steve. Mm -hmm. But I reckon 
Meg Dog and Nicole Romeo. Be a very handy duo in Champ Women, wouldn't it? Wow. Wow. Well, you're saying now that McKinnon might have their import, though, so let's see how that goes. That was goes. the next question I was about to post. Does, do you have your sources uh, as the McKinnon import playing this weekend? Got no idea. Okay. Got no idea. I think Sinead Greaves will be back, yeah, though. I'd say so. Um, I'm going to go Warrandyte to win, Steve. Yeah, so am I. Obviously you Fingers are. Fingers crossed. Um, Knox take on Hume City. Hume City. Hume City. It's not Com many times I'm not going to say Hume City this season. No, I'm going to go Hume City to win. But I've been no, I've been banging on about Knox's uh, defense and how uh, dogged they are at keeping teams uh, uh, down. Here's a great test for you, yep. Raiders. Great test because you're playing the best in the business this week. So here's yep. a great test for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be really interested to see that, but I am going Hume City. Ringwood take on Whittlesey. Ringwood, Ringwood for me. Ringwood have had a lot of games so far. It's not often that not you come. Another double header this weekend. Yep. And well, I was going to say it's not often you come out on a Saturday night and it's your second game for the weekend. No, that's but right. it is in this case. Ringwood at home. Ringwood. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne against Waverley. I'm going Waverley to win. Uh, yeah. Falcons. I think Waverley as well. But Melbourne's one of those teams. Yep. I'm not. That they won't beat them, but they might give them a scare. Like Eltham gave Waverley a scare. Mm. We mentioned a young kid uh, in the youthies for Melbourne called Monique Conti. I know she's got under 18, state coming up, all that sort of stuff. She won't be playing After seniors. all of that, don't think you'll see her play seniors? Don't think so. I'll okay. Uh, Bullying take on Warrandyte. That's a Sunday game, Steve. No uh, love loss between these two. <laughs> Warrandyte. It's Pierce and Pierce against uh, Warrandyte. Yep. Yeah, Warrandyte. Warrandyte to win? Yep. How are you going to win? Tell us about it. Um, we're going what do you got to do? We're going to try and put the ball in the hole. We're going yep. to a really good start. Who you got to stop? Pierce and Pierce. Right, so that out. would be a, a good point for us. We've mm -hmm. obviously, uh, at the moment, got two games to concern ourselves with. So, mm -hmm. so don't put, uh, don't get too far ahead of ourselves. We're just going. We're, we realise that McKinnon, with the start they've had, they'd see us as a well. Here's our chance. We're going to get on the board. So we we're determined to not let that happen. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say this because Nicole's sitting here. Um, I think Bullen are going to struggle to hold Romeo. I just don't know who they got, Steve. That's fair. That can contain yep. her. So that's just my thought. Nicole, don't look at me like that. It's just my thought. Mm -hmm. um, good luck this week to all the teams in State Champ Women. Get out there and support your teams. And don't forget, Friday night. Friday night basketball in that's Big V. We love it. Diamond Valley are playing at home to Southern Penn. If you haven't seen the Sharks yet, go out there Have and see the Sharks. Uh, and Eltham at home to Ringwood. So some really good teams in action Friday night. Uh, it gives you the chance to see big V games in this competition over three days mm -hmm. this weekend. So go out there and enjoy it. We'll see you next week on Big V TV.